I'm Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals and I just wanted to share some of my sketchbooks, art journals with you. I like to do mine when I go on trips or just keep track of what I do each day. I drove up the Columbia Gorge up in Oregon and it was so beautiful so I pasted my map into my book and then I sort of did little quickie illustrations of what I saw along the way and I made a cute little pocket for this this book. So here's another, here's, here's like how I like to start my pages. I like to start with something on the page. I can either um, make nice borders that go all throughout the book. And here I'm using a watercolor pencil. I could use regular watercolors. These pencils are so easy to use, especially if you're traveling because you can sit and do this on the on the train or the airplane and then later on I have a just a regular paintbrush and some water and you just put that water on there and it causes that watercolor pencil to run and create watercolor so the way I, I do this is I normally just take my whole sketchbook and or almost my whole sketchbook and go through it and add some kind of interest to my pages and then let me do the little bit of red here oh, I love that red it is so brilliant you can actually bring this out and do other little fun things with it if you want to once you pick up that color from the water that is just great so I'll go through and do my whole sketchbook different colors different pages Sometimes I just do borders. Sometimes I like to um, actually create shapes on my pages. And then here is what I end up with. Now this is a calendar page is what I call it. So like day one, I'm going to record what I do. Day two, day three, etc. And just depending on how long your trip is, you can just continue doing that. Now this was a page I started with my watercolor pencils just made this nice X and then when I got ready to actually design my page I was able to use those spaces as inspiration so on this one I chose to put the words at the bottom and the illustration on the top there's another one you can see I started with a big loop and it just uh, it sort of adds to um, excitement and what I'm gonna do with that page so this is the way I like to do my books. It makes them really creative. And let me show you another book. So here was, a, I was down at the creek one day, so I was illustrating the dragonfly. Some little bunnies down there. So I actually did the bunnies more than one way. I was experimenting with different uh, colors here. And then later I actually came back and used these for inspiration for a great big painting. That's another way I use my sketchbooks. And here's what a little quick tip. I just used masking tape and I ripped it in half and I was able to put it on my page and create the word and the frame for the illustration. Oh, this, this was great. I was down at the beach and these people were sitting in chairs in front of me watching all the big tankers out on the water and it just looks so relaxing. Here's a collection of some of my favorite things from the beach. A little bit of sand, feathers, and here is a pier that's actually an amusement park. And you know sometimes making a little quick sketch is a lot uh, more fun than taking a photograph because I was able to add people on the roller coaster and the ride and the ferris wheel and a whole flock of pelicans. There was really only one in the water. And the fishermen and the little people walking the dog. And here's another calendar page, like similar to the one I showed you at first. I like to add what's going on in the weather, maybe a couple stamps. So interesting. And I have a new book out, Art Journals and Sketchbook. It just has dozens of ideas and inspiration for what to do. Doodles around the pages, how to start off with your watercolor, how to embellish your, photo, your pages, 
just lots of prompts and ideas for working through your book. So I add both photos and lettering and uh, some illustrations and some journaling to my pages. So I hope you'll join me on the art journal journey of fun.